23 years old and he was not able to speak. Uh, but he could write. So this is Mr. Smith. Yeah. So we started using some glasses that triggered his autonomic nervous system internal and stabilized something that allowed him to start speaking. And his judgments of how he hears is very different. Since he's had the glasses, his hearing is different. So I thought it would be interesting for you to listen to him. It's been amazing. And me. So when, when we uh, talked to you last time, Dad, you said you liked hearing better. Always sounds were in a tunnel in spite of, now John's a guy, he's 23 now, but we didn't begin communicating with him until he was 16 and a half. Uh, and he communicates by typing. And his, his uh, we, he had to work his way out of life skills. He's in college now. Always sounds we're in a tunnel in spite of the fact that I hear everything. But it's strange as blinking, much more seeing as if in a single way without as much peripheral vision he said, when the goggles are on, I think a little differently. It's as if whatever oasis of thought I'm in, lifting me inside to see things differently changes my thoughts. I become differently focused and different hiatus of reflection happens. John's been continuing to make progress. And every once in a while, he'll just blurt out a sentence that makes total sense um, and, 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 just, and just speak it out loud. Um, and, and sometimes he'll speak individual words, so much more independence, he's starting to type on his own. I am walking with more awareness of what applies to me and what doesn't. Powerful loudness was always overwhelming, or awareness was squashed as sound was produced. The typer's biggest challenge is that he doesn't know what he is missing with sight and sound distinctions, and those who work with him don't know his mental competence is complete his physical intake is very different. E I see that speech is coming. And e that speech is coming. D is coming. D D he's, saying, no. he's saying prayers and he's singing e in church and he's never he, he's never done that before. But he's been doing that since we began these exercises and he does it more and more. Uh, your story is so inspirational and you're an example of why we all do optometry like this. Because all of us want to help people and this is one way of helping people. Thank you, John. And he's just typing one other thought, don't, don't, don't get yeah, don't. assumptions of others. Don't. You have a something to, to 